Kanu National Chairman Gideon Moy was among those cleared to defend his Baringo Senate seat. The move now ends speculation that the Baringo Senator would not be defending his seat due to the perceived United Democratic Alliance UDA wave in Rift Valley. Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni has also been cleared by the IEBC to defend his Daragua constituency seat. Several political aspirants were cleared to vie for elective seats come the August polls. Kanu Party National Chairman Gideon Moy was among those cleared by IUPC to vie for Baringo County's Senate in the August general elections. <laughs> Senator Moy urged the electorates to fully back him for the senatorial seat, which he is defending for the third time. Isiolo County, incumbent Isiolo North MP Hassan Odahalufo, who is defending the seat as an independent candidate, was one of the candidates cleared after failing to get clearance on day one. A system which has delayed the process, especially verification of the 1,000 signatures. Others who are cleared to face off with the incumbent MP include former MP Joseph Samal, who is seeking to recapture the seat on the Jubilee Party ticket, and nominated Senator Abshiro Halaki Soka of Kanu. Vegipanga, and uh, we were able to submit all the required documents, including signatures of uh, 1,000 voters uh, who are registered voters in my constituency. I am glad that I am validly elected, as indicated by the returning officer. I want to thank all my supporters, especially those who took their time to collect the 1,000 signatures. Ni nataka kukuwe na amani, kukuwe na usianobora, kati ya wale wote ambao wanasimama viti mbalimbali, kutoka MCA, kutoka MP, kutoka Women Rep, kutoka Senators na Governors. Na wote ni naomba, na waimiza, wafanye kampeni zao za amani na wawajibike kwa wananchi wa Isiolo. Elsewhere, Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni has been cleared by the IEBC to defend his Daragua parliamentary seat. Kioni lauded the professionalism by the IEBC officials conducting the process. An appeal to my uh, colleagues in the political field, those who are also vying for uh, different positions in the country, to ensure that uh, even this exercise of uh, submitting papers is done in a peaceful manner. Uh, within the law and we should not uh, heighten unnecessary, heighten the political temperatures unnecessarily. Meanwhile, the service party leader Mwangi Kiunjuri has been cleared by IABC to contest for the La Kipia East parliamentary seat. Kiunjuri exuded confidence that he will clinch the seat, citing his development record when he served as the area legislator for three terms. And this election will be about issues. It is issue-based because Kenyans are now able to differentiate between parties and leaders that are, they are able to choose among the many parties that will be there those people that they think will be able to understand their issues. It is about who can bring development, who can uh, be able to move the constituency from one level to another. And Busia Governor Sospita Ojemong has been cleared to vie for Teso South parliamentary seat on an ODM ticket. Ojemong said he was keen on improving the economic status of Teso South. Ile political liberation to Lifania, to Galeta, political parties, that's why economic liberation. To take to work which way to promote. We want the way to go jengwa, or we want the way to go pata kazi, which we need to, we want the way to go and the land.